This shit is getting ridiculous. Beyond ridiculous. To the point is to the point where what are we doing this for again? Now you're shooting cops. I'm not with that. God bless the family of this police officer that got shot last night in Las Vegas. He's on life support. And if you're sitting there saying, hooray, ha ha, something wrong with you. Because that officer wasn't involved in the Floyd situation, in the Sean situation, in the Aubrey situation. Okay? If that's what you want, it's a revenge on all cops. You shouldn't be in this country. Then, four officers were shot in St. Louis. God bless them and their family. An officer was ran over in Buffalo, New York. Okay. That's not the officers that was there when Floyd got killed. And I'm not saying that the officer that was there when Floyd got killed should be killed. I want justice, not revenge. That's the difference. I'm a human being. <clears throat> Can't solve violence with violence. Now you're destroying your cities. You're making it look horrible. And trust me, they're going to get their money back for all that because they all insured. And some of them places are going to rebuild, some of them not. Now your city going to be stuck with burnt out buildings. What the fuck is the point of stealing for? And I'm talking not just to black people, to white people, Mexican agents who's taking advantage of this pro peaceful protesting to be out there stealing. Police chief was fired in Louisville, Kentucky for killing a man named David. They say they were exchanging gunfire with the police. I'm upset about what happened to the people in Atlanta when they were tased and pulled out of their vehicle. I'm upset with the police officer who punched the Australian reporter female in the face on camera. I'm sick of going through these different emotions. I'm trying not to watch this too much of this shit, but it's everywhere. Everywhere. I want I think it was four officers that were there that would happen to Floyd. I want all four of those officers to go to jail and be prosecuted fairly like they should have did us. I am not that type of person to say, fuck him and all these police, they all need to die. Because this shit has been going on a long time. And just imagine how much has been going on without cameras. But I'm a human being. I can't say that. I can't not feel bad for an officer when they get shot because I know police officers. I work with police officers. I have a friend who's a police officer. This is America and we walking around popping cops. Okay. This ain't right. I want those officers in Minnesota go to jail and I want them to be, and they really don't need a trial because all the evidence is there for the main guy he don't need a trial the, the main two the Asian guy and the guy that was leaning on the guy's neck those two don't need a trial the rest of them need to be tried and, and also the police chief in Kentucky got fired because of how he handled the situation with the uh, crowds then this you got people coming from out of town, coming to people's cities, tearing up stuff, spray painting. So you got the people that want to protest peacefully. Then you got the people that want to steal, running out, snatching Nikes and computers and it. <laughs> Is this what we doing in 20? I need 2020 to go away. I need 2021 to come or I need to go back to 2019 to be ready for this. This don't make no sense. I have I have different emotions because of how I feel about what happened to Floyd, how I feel about what happened to the two people in Atlanta, what, what happened to the Australian lady, reporter, 
uh, another reporter that I saw, they got jumped and the phones taken and stuff like that. Uh, I feel sorry for the people with these businesses. You know, you got people, with these small business owners who probably can't come back from this. They already were shut down because of COVID. Now they can't come back from this. I, I, I have sympathy for these officers. They're being shot and ran over. Uh, officer got ran over in Buffalo, New York. Um, and I'm still angry about the Floyd situation. And where is it? Why are the other officers being, you know, taken care of? Now you're popping cops. I want justice for Floyd. But I don't want my city tore up. I don't want officers getting popped. I need those police officers to protect my neighborhood when this is over. When I dial 911, I am calling the police to help me. The people that I pay for, that's on my check, that I pay taxes for, those are the people I'm calling to help me because somebody's in my house with a gun and I'm about to pop them or uh, I'm trying to, somebody trying to steal my car. I'm calling what? The police. So how can I say, hooray, kill all the police, kill the cops, fuck them. Okay, then what? Are you going to come to my house and protect me and my family? This is crazy. This is getting, this is beyond out of hand. And your president, your president, not mine. I always said that wasn't my president. Your president ain't doing nothing about it. It's civil unrest. You can call out the military and have these people stop. And we try to get back to normal. But this still continually, now what are you protesting for? And then, I'm upset because of the uh, autopsy was wrong that they did. And then they did another one and found out, yeah, he died from that. So now they're trying to say he didn't die from that knee in his neck. They're trying to say he died from something else. Until his family went and got a different one. Found out that, yes, he died from that. So see the different emotions that I'm going through? This guy was charged with third degree murder when it should have been first degree murder. And don't forget about the jogger. Don't forget about those three guys. We need justice for that. We need justice for Sean, the guy that was running while he was on his cell phone. The guy shot multiple times, unarmed, and he was a military vet. We need justice for that. Justice, not revenge. Learn the difference. This don't make no sense. God bless America because the world is watching. Look at America, the most, the, the, the supposed to be the dominating country in the world, the world power, America. And look what we're doing.